Hi Fudgies, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome back to Bunches of Lunches. This week I'm sharing lots of fun and easy lunch ideas, but none of these lunches are going to have sandwiches, instead they're going to have muffins. Now if you're new to this channel, I invite you to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. I'm super excited to be partnering with Chatbooks on today's video. They are an easy way to make professional photo books using your favorite social media pictures. You can upload your own pictures like we did with these Bunches of Lunches thumbnails. I'm super excited to have my own Bunches of Lunches book with all of the pictures from all of the lunches. But you can also connect your Instagram account and choose pictures from your feed, like I've done with all of these family pictures. Listen, do you remember when we did this? It was on Pirate's Day. That's you. I buy it. Yeah, yeah you're a pirate. And no buyers and Gaffin buy it. No, this is Kenzie. That's Gaxon. Oh, cute. Gaxon. You can choose your own pictures or you can set it up to automatically receive a new book every 60 images. And I have a special coupon code for you guys. Go ahead and click the link in the description box below to save 20% if you use the code FUDGE20. And without further ado, let's get on to the lunches. Happy Monday. Today we're celebrating Lily's birthday. So she's getting to pick out today's lunch. One of her favorite foods is mac and cheese but I'm gonna try something different today to make it extra special. I'm making mac and cheese muffin cups. I'll go ahead and put a link to the recipe in the description box if you'd like to try it, but it's really just your basic mac and cheese recipe and then you put them in muffin cups and top it with cheese and bake them in the oven. While those are in the oven, I'll get started on the rest of today's lunch. I'm going to start by adding some really fun princess goldfish crackers. These taste just like regular crackers, but they're pink. And then Lily also requested some yogurt tubes. These are the Go-Gurt Simple in the berry flavor. And to get them to fit in the lunchbox, I kind of just bend them a little bit. Next up, I'm going to add some of Lily's favorite fruits, fresh pineapple and kiwi. For the vegetables today, Lily's chosen both carrots and cucumbers. She's really been liking these a lot recently, so I'm not surprised. And she especially likes it if I also include some hummus to dip in. Now since it is her birthday, I wanted to throw in a special treat. I have these teeny tiny cupcakes. I bought them at the grocery store and they're so cute. And I'm going to add these really cute happy birthday pics. Now that the mac and cheese cups are done, I'm going to go ahead and add them to my preheated thermoses. I baked these in silicone muffin cups so I can just stick the whole thing down into the thermos. I'll get my lid on tight and they will stay warm until lunchtime. Before I get my lids on here, I'm gonna stop and take a few pictures to post on the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. If you haven't joined already, you totally should. It's a really fun community where you can share your fun lunch creations or ask any lunch-related questions you might have. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. So what did you think of Lily's special birthday lunch? What was your favorite part? I really liked the mac and cheese. Yeah, what did you think of the mac and cheese, Lily? I like just regular mac and cheese better. Yeah, I have to say these were pretty good, but if she prefers regular mac and cheese, that's what I'm gonna make because that's definitely easier. And we'll see you tomorrow, friends. Hi guys, and welcome to Tuesday. Today I'm gonna be making some deconstructed corn dogs. I'm gonna start by adding our fruit. I have some chopped up pieces of watermelon. I know the kids will love it. And if you don't already know, we love Mickey Mouse in our family. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some really cute Mickey Mouse picks. For our vegetable today, I'm gonna to throw in some celery sticks. And I'm going to add a little container of ranch for the kids to dip in. Next, I'm adding our muffin of the day, which is going to be a cornbread muffin in the shape of Mickey. These were really easy to make. I just took some corn muffin mix and I added them very carefully to my Mickey muffin maker. <laughs> That's really hard to say. I found this on Amazon and I just love it. Next up, I'm adding some Greek yogurt pouches. I have two strawberry flavored ones and one chocolate. Next up, I'm going to add some mini chicken sausages to the thermoses. Now we usually get these big chicken and apple sausages from Costco, so I was super excited to find these little tiny ones. They are so cute and I know the kids will love them. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those into the thermos. And that is everything in the lunch today. And of course afterwards, I'll show you if they liked it or not. We're back home now and here's what 
appropriate. Okay guys, so what did you think of the deconstructed corn dogs today? Those are really cool. The Mickey corn muffins were so cute. Yeah, I do have to say that the cornbread was a little bit dry, so I might use a different recipe next time, but they were cute. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was actually the watermelon. Yeah, what about you? I liked the watermelon too. What about I, you, Jack? I liked everything except the celery. The celery, yeah. Jackson's got a wiggly tooth, so celery's a little bit hard for him. Mm -hmm. Did you guys like the apple chicken sausages? Yeah. yeah. Okay guys, good job today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Wednesday. Today we're doing pizza and salad. I'm kicking things off with the fruit of the day, which is gonna be a combination of red and green grapes, and these are ginormous grapes, they are huge. And then I went ahead and added some salad to these little bowls. This is just your regular green salad. In a separate container, I'm also gonna add some croutons that the kids can add in when they're ready for their salad. And I'm also putting a little container of ranch dressing. I think the kids will really enjoy building their own salad. And we can't forget about the muffin of the day. Today, I'm actually making English muffin pizzas. These are really easy to make. I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid, and they could be served warm, or they're even good at room temperature. I'm just gonna take half an English muffin, add a little bit of marinara sauce, some mozzarella cheese, a few of these teeny tiny mini pepperonis, and just a few slices of black olive. Then I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 10 minutes or until the cheese is nice and melted. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ranch containers in this little compartment. And then I have a few more things to throw into today's lunch, starting with these nut butter bars. I have two in the coconut cashew flavor and one in the pretzel and peanut flavor. These are really good. These are basically a plant-based granola bar. I give them two thumbs up. And then I have a new drink for the kids to try. This is the Tropicana Kids Fruit Juice. These look really interesting. They don't have a ton of sugar in them and the packaging itself is clear so you can see what's inside. And that's it for today's lunch. Afterwards, I'll show you what they ate. Okay guys, what did you think of the English muffin pizza lunch? I thought it was really awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, it's time to tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the pizza. What about you, Jack? Um, the juice and the grapes. Yeah, what about you, Lily? Almost everything. What was the best? Um, the juice. Now I'd have to agree with these guys. I thought these new uh, juice pouches were pretty good. Good job today, guys. Hey guys, and happy Thursday. I'm gonna start by throwing in the veggie. We're gonna go with some carrots. And for the fruit, a mandarin orange. I think it's really fun to add in the little eye picks here. In a separate container, I'm going to add some vanilla yogurt with just a sprinkling of toasted coconut granola on the top. And for our muffins today, I'm gonna add in just one tiny blueberry muffin. These are so good, I love blueberry muffins. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite kind of muffin is. And then in the thermos today, I'm adding another kind of muffin, some egg muffin cups. I have a separate video on how I make these. I'll go ahead and link it down below. These are super easy to make. You can actually make a big batch of them and keep them in the fridge for a quick breakfast in the morning. You can add lots of different things in here. Today, I'm just gonna add a little bit of Havarti cheese and some pre-cooked bacon. These are just like the egg bites you get at Starbucks, but you're gonna save a lot of money by making them yourself. When the egg muffin cups are done, I'm gonna go ahead and stick them into the thermos. And lastly, I wanted to add just one more thing in today's lunch as sort of an added snack. So these are called Sailor's Loot and they come in these little bags. I found them at Safeway and it's basically the store brand of Pirate Booty. So if you've ever had Pirate Booty, you know it's kind of a cheddar popcorn. And that's everything in today's lunch. We'll see how they do. Okay guys, what did you think of breakfast for lunch? I really liked it. Now it was a little bit hard for Jackson to eat some of it, right? Mm -hmm. Because where did you go today? Uh, the dentist. The dentist. Nothing major, but it did make it a little bit harder for him to eat the carrots, right? Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the blueberry muffins. Those were yummy muffins. What about you, Kenzie? My favorite part was the pirate booty. The pirate booty? What about My you? My favorite part was the pirate booty, the egg 
the egg muffins, the muffins uh -huh. and the blueberry muffins. Mm -hmm. Good job today, guys. Hey guys, and welcome to Friday. We've made it to our last muffin-themed lunch of the week, but right now I'm starting by adding the fruit. I'm gonna go with some purple grapes today, and for our vegetable, I'm gonna add the last of our celery. Again, I wanna use it all up. We're at the end of the week here. Don't want anything to go to waste. Now to go with the celery, I'm going to add a little container of peanut butter so the kids can actually dip their celery in there if they want to. And I'm also gonna add a small container of pretzels, which are also really good for dipping in the peanut butter. Next, I'm adding the muffin of the day. Now, I actually found these at Target. They look really interesting. These are a zucchini carrot muffin. They're actually gluten-free, they're dairy-free, they're on the healthier side. But I'm not gonna tell the kids that there's veggies in here at all. Let's see what they think. And then last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and get some chicken nuggets into the thermoses. These are actually the letter-shaped chicken nuggets. I get these at a store called Sprouts. And I'm gonna add these to my preheated thermos. That way they can stay hot until lunchtime. And then last but not least, I'm also gonna throw in a go-gurt just in case they need an extra snack today. And that is everything for today. After lunch, I'll show you what they ate. Okay guys, what did you think of the veggie muffins? What? That was chocolate. <laughs> yeah, it was vegetables in there. That tasted, that tasted like chocolate. You couldn't tell? No. Yeah, those actually had carrots and zucchini in there. And I tried it, I thought it was pretty good. But Jackson, what was your favorite? I like the yogurt too, but and the grapes. What about you, Lily? What was your favorite? Um, the celery. Do you like to dip your celery in peanut butter? Yeah. It is tasty. <laughs> Good job today, guys. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag LunaLunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.